Hi, everybody. I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we're continuing our Let's Play of Pool of Radiance. And guys, I am so sorry for the horrible performance I gave as a presenter last episode and for just the horrible gameplay for the me wandering around aimlessly. You know, I think sometimes with Let's Plays, like, it's probably hard to, you know, be super dynamic and engaging when you're also thinking really hard about what you're doing. Right, and there were things that I just straight up forgot about the Pool of Radiance maze here at the Labyrinth uh, towards the very end of the game. Up here here we have illusionary walls and where was that illusionary wall in this room we have illusionary walls and you see stairs going up do we go up yes we do yeah so we are in tyranthrachus lair On your left, there is a secret door. We're not going to do that quite yet. And okay. you hear the big spooky music. Dude. Yeah, we'll, we'll groove to the music for a few seconds. Do, 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 do. Yo, Splinter, equip your ring, dude. I guess I saved after I got a little bit of something. So that's good. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, so. You see stairs going down. We are gonna go ahead and go down. And there's a bunch of broken statues. Huh, they look terrified. A Gorgon. A Medusa approaches. You can try to parlay with Medusa, but, um... I remember on the new Charm series, they had an episode yeah. where they had um, a Medusa. Mm-hmm. And instead of fighting her, they told her that we're so sorry about what happened to you, and, like, they listened to her and believed her. And that made her stop attacking them. Um. Well, we're gonna kill this Medusa. <laughs> uh. I don't think anyone can carry anymore, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave the treasure. Leave the coffee. Yep. J-A-V, Java. Okay. I I feel you. Let's search around in old Medusa's lair here. I think really T-Dog, Tyranthrachus, just wanted to have her to, you know, straight up have her. On your right, there is a secret door. <sighs> okay, on your right, there's the secret door. Door. Let me see stairs going up. Up we go. Okay. I believe something was supposed to happen here. <laughs> This room is empty, but you find a trap door in the floor. Um, ew. It le if you open the trap door before defeating Medusa, you one of your characters automatically gets stoned. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's... Mm. Okay. Okay. Maybe through here. Yes, okay, this is what's supposed to happen. There are many chairs and benches in this room. You see a man twirling a dagger on his finger. The man nods to you as you enter the room. Well, we'll go ahead and advance here. The man looks at his foot, irritated. Oh, dude, did he accidentally draw with his <laughs> dagger? What do we do? 
the man. Shh, be quiet. I've just returned from the north and I'm very tired. When he finishes, you hear a voice call from the north door. Messenger! Heaving a sigh, the man stands and goes to see what is wanted. He returns after a while, packs the document into his pouch, and leaves out the east door. Again, you hear a voice calling, Messenger, what are you doing in there? Hurry up! Alrighty. You enter a strangely decorated room. A middle-aged man raises his head. And interestingly enough, guys... Um, Is he the one giving the messenger a hard time? <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta make your messengers earn their money, you know? <laughs> But he actually has the same character portrait as Olo. Remember back in the Salams, very early on in the Let's Play, we encountered the man Olo? Yeah. Um, but the way it's set up, like, you can't really see Olo's character portrait because he can't advance to him. Um, so, yeah, we don't actually know what Olo's character portrait is, but someone found in the code that his character portrait is this. Geneheris. Oh, messenger. What's wrong with his face? I think it's a beard that... I, I don't know, but a beard that just didn't go well. What word does Lord Tiranthracha send to Geneheris? Parley? Uh, do we want to be haughty or sly? We'll do haughty. Gideon Harris frowns and says, Tyranthrach just sent you to slay me. All we did was be haughty. How does that equate to murder? Well, what do you think of working with me? Together we can slay Tyranthrach instead. I'll make you all generals. I'll go with you, if I may. He is a very talented magic user, and he is a very skilled NPC, but he is not careful. So he will burn us. He will burn us, so I can't take it. Oh, we fight him. Oh. Wasn't necessarily prepared to fight him. I thought, okay, so we should have just taken him and left. Good to know. Not exactly what I wanted. I kind of wanted to keep him decently alive, but eh, so be it. I wonder if the reason why he was so easy is because he could have joined us. <laughs> and, like, that would be in character for this game. Because you feel sometimes with video games, like when a bad guy later goes on to join your party, they're suddenly a lot weaker than when you fought them. Yeah. Like Magus in Chrono Trigger, which I guess is a spoiler. I mean, the game's been out for almost 30 years, so... True. Um, yeah, like, you know, when we were fighting you, you were beating us, like... Yeah. And now it's like, oh, you only remember three spells? Yeah, how about that? The, the... And I know you had more hit points than that. Uh, you know. But still, I always choose to put Magus in our party. It would be nice, though, to see the frog turn into a human, but... But don't you think he's a little more boring as a human? I... You know, I've never actually seen the frog become human. Like... I feel like, you know, being a knight who's turned into a frog... That's something. That's something not everyone has. But being a human, he's just like a noble, valiant knight. Those are a dime a dozen. Yeah, that's true enough, yeah. Um... He can't memorize anymore, but... Okay, you're, you're actually good, Craven. Alright guys, so we're going 
to learn some status spells. Um, I would have liked to have known what Rose said to him haughtily that made him think we were gonna kill him. <laughs> hey, loser, we're here to kill you! You didn't even pick abusive. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> like, real talk. Is there a gameplay difference between haughty and abusive? Between haughty and abusive? Yeah. Or is it just like good and bad ways to be? Because I can see this game just having a binary, but acting like they're giving you more options. <laughs> yeah, I think like... Yeah, I think like... Hold on. I... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. No, 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 dude, it, it, it's chill. I'm just freaking stupid. Um, yeah, no, like... A lot of times, yeah, like, in the castle, when the, um... Giant patrols are catching you, um... They, um, will be like, um... Haughty and abusive is going to do the same thing. Like, who do you work for? And then you say the boss and all is good. Is there ever a time where, like, haughty and abusive would get you different actions in, like, a situation? Like, one situation and if you pick haughty you get one thing and abusive you get another? I'm sure there must be, but, um, to be honest, in a lot of those, you know, I always tend to go for the case, for the option that I know is going to give me the best result. And what about, like, meek and nice? Meek and nice almost always do the same thing, although I think nice is a little bit better. Meek um, uh, is kind of the worst one you could do. And what about Sly? Sly gets you in trouble. You know what would yeah. be cool is if we could have been Sly to that guy and like give him bad information? Like, oh yeah, t Ron Thatcher says send all the guards over to this place, but mm -hmm. like have it be the completely wrong place so then we can get to him completely undisturbed. That would be cool. You know, like, yeah, if they did a remake of this game, that would be a fun thing to, like, put in there, you know? Like, options to get past the thing without fighting. Yeah. Like, maybe if you had, like, I don't know, enough charisma points, you could trick enemies to going away. But then again, like, if you did that, it would also maybe hurt your, um, goodness stat. I don't think we really have a goodness stat, though. See, that would be something kind of interesting to bring into it, like, a goodness to evilness meter. Goodness to evilness. <laughs> and, like, and maybe your character's alignment would change. Like, if you have a, you know, lawful good person, but you keep getting into fights and you keep lying yeah. and stuff... Yeah, you, can you become a, a little less lawfully good there, yeah. I think they could do a lot with the modern remake of this game. They really could, yeah. They could also make the areas actually look like areas. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Like, oh, okay, I'm in the library, like... I don't see any books or tables, but I guess I'll just take it on faith. Yeah, I know. The real books were the friends we made along the way. Yeah, I know. Alright, guys. So, 
We seem to have. Um, go ahead, Splinter, and cast some meditation. And we got cure light wounds. We got a whole bunch of whole persons. Are we like right outside where the boss is? Uh huh. Oh, nice. You see stairs going down. All right. And there it is. You enter a large hall. The ceiling is broken and you can see the sky through it. There is a glittering pool in the center of is the room. Is that the pool of radiance? That's the pool of radiance. And there's T-Dog. You see a bronze dragon wrapped in flames beside the pool. So do you remember the madman? Who said, the flamed one, he's so mean and he lives in the castle of flowers? Yeah. The flowers being the labyrinth, the flamed one being I didn't being see too him. many flowers there, just a lot of just shrubs. Just a lot of sh poisonous, thorny shrubs, I know, but yeah. This is him. The dragon raises his head, and you know this is Tiran Thrachus. He's kind of cute. He kind of is, isn't he? He's <laughs> guy. Guards! Get that rabble! The guards charge. Oh no! <sighs> okay. I really hope we can do this, dude. The uh -huh. blue boys. Yes, these are 8th level fighters. Okay! Oh god, no. Rose can handle a lot of things, though. Okay, paralysis wand. Yes! Oh, thank god. No uh, bars held, or whatever that expression is. This, guys, by and large, I think this part here is a little bit harder than actual Tiran Thrachos. This is like... Um, we are going to use our items, uh, our remaining necklaces and such, because, you know, time's of the essence, man. Person is. This is why I have been freaking out about like hold persons and the clerics. And like, I because I didn't want that to happen. Splinter's the one holding the paralysis wand. Oh god. Oh, and these guys take 96 hit points. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, God, no. Okay. Do this again, Pumpkin, but do it good! Why don't we get a better battle song? Hmm. You think there should be different, uh, battle music? I mean, for the final bosses in the game, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Are we gonna get a different one for T-Dog? Hmm. Oh god, no. Yeah, guys, be stupid. <sighs> I don't 
know if we can pull this off. And sometimes you just get a lousy roll of the dice, man. like their necklaces from Claire's as if they were hand grenades. Yes! Good. Yes! Yes. Rose can take it. Rose is a tough girl. Oh, uh, let's see. We got another necklace. And as you may have guessed, Tiron Thrakchus is really kind of resistant to fire necklaces because he's clothed in flame. Yeah. Oh no! Okay. Rose can take it. There's very little that Rose, you know, can't take. What should we do? You have a magic missile wand? Yeah. Or should we try paralysis wand? Yes! Oh no, he can move that way. He still got necklace! so I'm not really worried. Yes! Nice. Nice. Um, and we will have to do the annoying thing where we continue battle and, um, you know, use up all of um, the remaining cleric spells we have. So this will be a little annoying, guys, so we'll um, probably, like... Alright, so we're... we used up all of our Cure Light Wounds. Um, we're not completely healed, but we're good enough, I think, to take on Tiran Thrachus. Yay! Oh, look at that. That's a lot of experience. And, to be honest, I don't know why they're giving us all of that. Because we're not going to go back to the gym. Exactly. The dragon stares at you. He seems to be interested in you. Tiran Thrachus, you're rather strong to have made it this far. I'm sorry you have to perish. Why don't you join me and save yourselves? See, that would be cool if they gave you the choice. If you submit yourself to me, I will make... All of you commandants of my forces. Now, if you hit join him, you get a message saying you join Tiran Thrachus and aid him in the destruction of Flan. You failed to save the city and you get a game over screen. This technically is the bad ending. But we didn't come all this way to get no bad endings. Nope. Battle begins. Ah! Yes, new um, music here. And Tiran Thrachus can do double damage and Splinter is already gone. Oh no! Alrighty. Um, we are going to use a magic missile wand. Oh. Magic Missile. Okay. I know I said I wanted new music. But you you ain't impressed. No. Aw. Okay. Um. He's resistant to Magic Missile. 
but he ain't resistant to lightning. Uh, he is resistant to lightning. Is he resistant to everything that I can throw at him? You ain't resistant to Steam Cloud! Oh god, you're resistant to everything. Crazy thought. Mm-hmm. What if you did dispel magic on him and dispelled the flames covering his body? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Go get him, Rose! Yes! Hack and slash, Rose! Okay, do I have anything? A necklace won't work, but I'm I'll do it. Oh god. Okay. I feel bad for you, pumpkin. You're just gonna stand there? Uh, the lightning wand didn't do anything. Yeah, dude, just stand there, please. How many hit points does he have? 80. Alright, Pumpkin. It was nice knowing you. But wait, if they die, will they canonically be here for the ending? All things are canonical. Yeah, it, yeah, it's chill, dude. No worries. It's the two siblings facing T-Dog. Yep, and I kind of figured that was how it was going to be. Just like us. Yes. Oh god, please don't move. Oh no, no, no. Wait, why are you going that way? Um... I really don't know what to do. Oh, I could have done bandage. Oh god, no! Here he is. Oh no. I mean, do we ever learn any spells in the game that he's not resistant to? Yeah, I could have sworn he was... I could have sworn, like... We might have had a chance with, like... What did I take off of him? Um. Oh no. Oh god, he gets a free hit. No. Oh god, no. Do it, Nightshade! Oh, sweet Jesus, no. Oh no. This is it. Well, guys, 
because that's what the game over screen looks like. Sorry, T Dog, but we're here to slay you. Alright, Splinter! I had a f feeling you would miss, but. Alrighty, and. Uh, Nightshade had a thing to equip. Uh, what's this gonna do for her? She already has one! Awesome! Okay, Nightshade, we will take a thousand steps back. And we will aim. Oh dear god, no. Maybe too many? You wasted a hit. Oh no. But like, you have to move back in this battle. Get him, Rose! Yeah! On our second attempt, we were three hit points away from defeating him. Three. Oh, don't miss, Rose. Okay, okay. Rose can take it. Yes! Oh my gosh, not good for you, Splinter. Yes. Oh wait, Craven also had a thing, didn't he? Oh, Rose is gone. Oh yeah, that's the sugar. Okay. Yes! Yes! Get him, Splinter! Are you doing mental math, Squeak Doo? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but our washing machine is like freaking out. Yes! Yay! We did it, guys! T Ron Thrachus is dying! Here comes the ending of the game! And this is a surprisingly good ending for the time and era. Uh, continue battle. Uh, why did I hit yes? Nope, we don't need to continue. Look at all of that experience and gold. Nice. Why we need this stuff? It could be for, like, if you wanted to transfer your data, but you run out of uh, storage space so quickly. We will leave the treasure. The dragon is mortally wounded. As he expires, something rises from the body. You fools! You can't destroy me, even if you destroy this shell! Is this a two-part fight? Nope. There it goes. His soul up to heaven. I can live by entering into your bodies. I will live forever. No. N no. really creepily quiet. It is, yes. The pool flares and begins to shine brightly. No, Tyron Thrachus! You will not dishonor me! You have failed! Uh, my 
my Lord Bane. Uh, how can you call me back now? Stop, please! I'm not yet! Ah! <laughs> Tyrann Thrachus is dragged into the pool by an invisible force, even though we totally straight up saw the force there. The pool's water stops glowing as uh, the spirit recedes. Tyrann Thrachus is destroyed. You return to New Flan victorious. Yay! Rose! Pumpkin, Splinter, My Nightshade, kid. and Craven. Craven. Who who landed the final blow? I don't even remember. See, these are all the people. The Elf Skeleton, Ferra Martinez, the Fortune Teller Woman, Kuto as well. Uh, the one spirit banshee lady. The library. Good old library. The goopy goop in the library. That dude. The auctioneer guy from Poto Plaza. Cadorna. Yep. Uh, the thieves uh, thing without the uh, ladder. Skelly. Skelly, I think we missed that part in the graveyard. We missed a lot in the graveyard because that was tough. Some roads, good old fashioned roads. Some nomad camp. Uh, Cobalt caverns uh, within the mountains. Diogenes uh, cavern there. And the inside of Diogenes cavern. The pyramid. Yarosh's pipins for the pyramid. Uh, Washington, D.C., the Lizard Man Castle. <laughs> Uh, I think that was the slave trader thing. Uh, the son of Bivant, who has the heart-shaped birthmark on him. Gentil Keep. And here's the staff. These are talented programmers. Good old Seiji Toda. Yes, and we got a few things that I maybe want to show with, um, the post-game here. You return to Flan. They tell you your reward waits with the city council clerk. We are actually going to do that for the last thing here. Can we get Rose better? Yes, we and are. And Pumpkin? Um. We can sleep we outside can now? We can sleep outside. We can do pretty much everything. I will show more of that in a little bit once we actually return to Flan. We do need your healing service. I thought you were supposed to heal me for free, but um, be that as it may, dude. We are loaded. Raise the parish there. And Splinter doesn't need that. And we will cure critical wounds. Alrighty, so 
There are a couple of stops I would like to make, and I may cut out some travel time because this video is going to be really long to begin with here. This is the victory lap. This is a victory lap, yes, but we are going to see our old friend Diogenes, uh, see if he has anything to say about so all of this. So are there still monsters? I believe there are. Wouldn't that be anticlimactic if I run into some really tough monsters right now? See? <laughs> See, did you guys like that climax? Hi, merchants! Thanks for freeing us! Alright, let's enter Diogenes' cavern. You enter a big cave, search it, but find nothing of interest, so you leave. Oh. So what is Diogenes doing now? I have no idea. I think he's working on his solo album. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now that the band broke up. Yeah, now that the band broke up, uh, Diogenes is working on his solo album. We are going to actually run back to Tyran Thrachus' uh, lair and see and actually search his room because you don't really get a chance to search his room and I've never actually really done that post-game so we're going to head on up to um, T-Dog's lair there and I may do a dissolve or we may some say something witty. If we say something witty so you'll... Are T-Dog and Diogenes, like, are they related? Like, what's the nature of their relationship? Oh, okay, here is something I should mention, yes. Um, not really described so much in the, um, any, in the game here, but, um, the dragon that T-Dog possessed was named Srosar. And he was a good copper dragon who was capable of speech and uh, rational thought and everything. But T-Dog tripped him into bathing in the Pool of Radiance, and that was when he got possessed. Mm. So, yes, t Fractus, and you notice we just walked right on into the labyrinth here. But, yeah, t Fractus is... So we just killed an innocent dragon? The actual Spirit was probably released and put somewhere. So it was really more of an empty shell than anything else. It's like, are there still baddies, like, in the castle? Uh, no. We, um, uh, uh, who would they be working for? There's, they don't, they don't have a boss or anything. We defeated the boss, so... Yeah, we're just wandering. These thorns can still kill your party members, though, so... I mean, I think it's important to show post-games, even if it may, means the video has to take forever. Remember in Earthbound, like, kind of spoilers for Earthbound, but when you beat it, you can walk around? Yeah! Oh, look, I've never actually done this, so... You enter a beautifully decorated room with a well-dressed, strong-looking man inside. What is your business with Tiamat the Murder! King Murder. of Murder! You know who I really am, don't you? I'm a double for Tyrone Thrachus. I could go now, okay? Yeah, dude, like, you're a little slow on the uptake here. And we actually don't need the treasure. And the secret wall... Because yeah, that was the just... thing. Oh no, I, I entered through the wrong area. You know, I was thinking, like... It doesn't make a lot of sense that his body double is a human. But then, like, I think back to, like, you know, watching Rain, again, talking about the CW. Yeah, no. And it's crazy, like, a lot of people in the medieval days, like, I guess we take stuff like cameras and stuff for granted. There were right. so many storylines on that show where conflict arises from one person not knowing what another looks like. Yes. So I guess maybe people have just heard of Tyrant Thraxus and assume he's a human. Right. Yeah, it's... Yeah, like, 
you know, we don't really think so much. Like, hey, people might not know what this person looks like. Yeah, and, like, dictators are always going to have, like, body doubles. Like, that's... Yeah, but, like, you know, the doubles now probably look like them. Yeah, like, I mean, that, yeah, that seems like a pretty big judgment lapse to, uh, you know, have a dragon, uh, have, like, the real deal be a dragon, and then have a human be but, your double. Yeah, probably back in the medieval times, like, people didn't know what people looked like if you just heard about them, like... Right. Because even though, like, nobility would have portraits painted of the, them... The common dude wouldn't have seen it. Yeah, it would just be in their palace, which isn't open to the public. Exactly, so... And probably if they were, if someone met royalty and were asked to describe them, they would probably use really flowery language, like... His her, bearing would make one quiver. His, her beauty would astound Venus herself. You know, uh, nonsense That doesn't like tell that. me anything. <laughs> So, up here in Tiran Thrachus Lair. This room is empty, but you find a trap door. The game we'll probably it. didn't, like, assume that you would come back. <laughs> didn't yeah, give no. the double any extra dialogue. <laughs> yeah, that would have been cool if it was like, um, <laughs> what went on at the tower there? Um, or, um, do you know any other dictators who need a double? <laughs> you know, you'd like... So there's the pool of radiance. Um, do we? Does anyone know meditation? Um, well, well, real, real quickly, we are going to memorize a meditation and Good. rest in Tito's lair. Mm-hmm. He ain't using it. All right, pumpkin. Cast some meditation here. Alright, so it looks like Tiron Thraxia Slayer has absolutely nothing of value here. They probably didn't think you would, um... Come back. They wanted... Yeah. They probably thought, okay, at most, they'll check in with the city council clerk. Yeah, no. Ooh, yeah, that night time. All right, so we're going to do some more moseying. I've got, I've got more moseying up me. Sorry that this video's long, but you guys wanted to see a finale to Pool of Radiance, didn't you? Oh, that's what you guys wanted to see. Oh, if not, <laughs> you, you the really? Wrong video. <laughs> Wasn't this a tutorial on bread knitting? Bread knitting. Bread kneading, yes. Okay. You, you need you need the bread. You don't knit it. No. Guys, if you guys knit bread, please send me a link. Well, I guess I gotta some see of the that. bread has like those braid things. Yeah, I gotta I gotta see bread knitting. They could have fallen asleep watching another YouTube video and the autoplay just put this on. Put this on and it's like, my god, what? There's a dragon and a really creepy silent uh, ending? Yeah, I forgot how uh, silent the ending was. Yeah, but... that was really weird, but you, you did some good acting. Well, thank you. I, I do what I can. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah, well, do we want nighttime or morning? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, so Diogenes had nothing to say, but let's see. We just defeated Tyron Thrachos. wonder if the fortune teller's got any words of wisdom for us. I mean, we... 
beat the game, we saw the credits, so surely the fortune teller's gotta... Oh, wouldn't it be cool if she gave us a clue related to, like, the spin-off game you were talking about? Yes, Hillsfar. So, this game... So, as I mentioned, Pool of Radiance is part of the Gold Box series of games from Strategic Simulations. And... Uh, None of the direct sequels were ported to Nintendo consoles, but they did port the Intercool game, Hills Far, and it's a completely different engine and a side story more than anything else, but you can import your characters um, from here to Hills Far, but you can't go to the next mainline entry, Curse of the Azure Bonds. That's what they think! We could do it all analog, just write down all of their stats and everything. We could, I mean, but, you know, like, the maximum hit points and everything, like, everything we've acquired, you know? But let's see what the fortune teller has to say. There's an old fortune teller woman wearing a ragged cloth who says, Welcome, I'll read your fortune for a dollar. Well... She begins making strange <laughs> gestures, and her voice changes to a deep-throated rasp. I can see two dragons. One is in the North Mountain. The other is in the Old Castle. Follow the silver and destroy the copper. Which we did. She falls over the table, exhausted, and waves you away. Get out of here. Yep. So... You remember, guys, way back when we introduced uh, her and when we liberated the slums, and I was like, would you guys be mad at me if she never says anything else? Well, she doesn't say anything else. Those are her two fortunes. They probably did not expect us to do all this. They tell you your award rates with the city clerk. Alrighty. 11 o'clock at night, you enter City Hall, the corridor runs south, and the door beyond is watched by guards. You open the east door and find the city council clerk. Guards are watching the south door. You finally beat the boss. Congratulations. Take your reward. Why is she referring to him as the boss? Yeah, that's what his followers call him. Your mission has been accomplished. You may fight the remaining monsters if you wish. Mostly out in the wilderness area. Do you want to leave your character sheet? If you leave, you can transfer your characters into other games. Guys, uh, this is going to be painful. Is this but, goodbye? And I am going to, I'm going to record all of this. Because I may want to do this, so this is going to suck, guys. I don't want to write it down, I want to record it. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare paper and pen. This is a video game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Rose character sheet is... I'm not reading all this. <laughs> uh, you don't you don't have to. But I do need to record all of it. How's that for a video game password? And uh, yep, we are going to keep leaving character sheets. Oh, That's so why she says prepare paper and pen. Because remember, for an NES game, the way you would transfer to other um, games would be through a massive password. And do you guys think this password is massive enough? <laughs> like, this is a long password. Are there spaces in this password? I don't rightly know. I've never... This is... Because uh, I've never tried Hills Far, so... Um, so when we go to do Hills Far, you would just watch this video back. Exactly, and then I would prepare paper and pen. Or, or maybe even pencil in case I make a mistake. Nightshade's character sheet is... Ooh. 
see you Gen Zers, you know, <laughs> with your TikTok and your auto transfers. This is how we transfer data in the 90s. Well, I don't know. When I started playing Life is Strange, too, I was like, oh, basically just ask me one question to transfer the game. I, I don't want to say what it is because right. that's a spoiler, but... And guys... I'm like, that's easy. And guys, if you um, were wondering about going through City Hall, here we are. Where we had the audience with Lord High Mayor Ulrich Eberhard. You know what? Uh, let's let's rest though. In the city hall. In the city hall, yes. So are we allowed to start fights at the tavern now, or will huh. we still get in trouble? Huh? Well, let's see about that, huh? Many beautiful pieces. May I show you something? We can't carry anymore. Sorry, lady. We just uh, defeated T Dog. So here we are at the tavern. You enter a tavern. The air is filled with smoke and gossip. There are several groups gambling energetically. You're listening to random gossip. Who on earth knocked down the boss? This is when the brawl would have begun. So instead of getting a brawl in the NES version, you get this bit of gossip of um, who on earth knocked down the boss. And it looks like that's the only bit of gossip. I don't really... I guess everyone's really yeah. shocked. Now, in the PC version, you could listen to random gossip and then a fight would start. But in the PC version, if you choose to fight the guards... You, there, it is impossible to get back in their good graces. Huh. Even though you beat T-Dog. Even though you beat T-Ranthrachos. And I didn't really show this at all through the playthrough, but the locked doors, so like this one, in the middle of the night, uh, these doors are locked and it says, the door's locked, do you break the lock? That, then the city guards will come yell at you, hey, move along here. Uh, but now, we can break the lock, walk into the shops whenever we want. We can do whatever we want in Flan right now, because we are the heroes of Flan. We we can do anything our heart desires. We we did it, you know? Nice. So, so do you think Rose's hometown has come to accept her yet? Quite possibly. Uh, I, I hope so, man. I. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh no, this is... Yeah, I th and I th read somewhere that Braccio was supposed to heal us for free, but he didn't. <laughs> hey guys, do you... Are we crazy enough to try to train? Actually, wait a minute. I don't think... I don't think Craven can uh, train. Oh wait, oh wait, Craven, Craven can train. But that would be painful because you already got your... Already got the character yeah. sheet, so I would have to go and get another character sheet. But, as we overlook at the clean snowy now river and how it empties out into the moon, the sea, and Rose, Pumpkin, Splinter, Nightshade, and Craven dream about future adventures all throughout the Forgotten Realms, and they proudly tell their stories of how they went ahead and defeated the vile Tyranthrachus. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been our Let's Play, our Halloween Let's Play for 2020. Remember, we did this for Halloween. <laughs> All year is Halloween. All year is Halloween. But this is our Halloween playthrough, 2020. Pool of Radiance, released on uh, PC consoles in 1988 and released uh, as an NES port in 1991. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know you're the best fans of any YouTuber in the entire world. 
We love you so much. I'm Jordan Rolfes from Vico Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfes. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our adventures throughout New Flan and the eradication of Tyran Thrakjus. We got more fun things, so subscribe. We love you, and remember these legends to tell and impress your friends. Bye! Bye!